Good morning everyone, it's Beck here from Hello My Name is Beck. Happy Easter. It is Saturday morning. What time is it? It's 13 minutes past 7. The sun is coming up over on the left hand side over here. So I do have the light on so you will see reflection unfortunately. So this mail I have received from Ariane. She is in um, Belgium. I think Belgium. Yep. Anyway, I'm going with Belgium. Um, and she has sent this um, beautiful Easter album for me. Um, this is actually part of a Happy Mailers swap. Um, so this was one of the last Happy Mailers swaps. Um, I sent out a pocket letter to Danny. So we've got beautiful bow here. I'll open it up and show you what's inside. So it's an album that you can add photos to. So we've got this waterfall over here of beautiful pastel colours. And we have a little slip over here. It says, follow the, bandy, uh, the bunny for all the candy. I was saying bandy um, <laughs> because obviously candy. <laughs> then we have washi tape and we have this bookmark here. I, I'm hoping you can see it without reflection. Um, it's a gold bookmark with a little bunny inside. Really, really cute. So thank you so much, Ariane. Then we have um, Funny Bunny here. We've got a little pocket up here which has a tag that you can um, utilise. Then we have her card. So that's her card. She did say the front says, Very lovely Easter days. Um, in Dutch, I think. Um, very lovely Easter days. So then we've got a little fold up here. We've got some items in the pocket. So um, a frame, cut apart, some eggs, bingo cards. And then we've got stickers. Just not taking those out so that I don't lose everything from the actual album. And then down here it says Welcome Easter on the pocket, so flap that back down. Then we have another waterfall over here, it says Easter Hop Hop Hop, Egg Hunt, Coloured Eggs, Baskets, Chocolate Bunnies. And once again we've got those beautiful pastel uh, colours for the waterfall. Pop that back down. And then that is the back. So absolutely gorgeous mail love the fact that there's a long ribbon here so if you were to fill up this album and make it a lot wider you have the ability to um, expand the ribbon um, and then you can snip it when you know that you're finished so that is absolutely gorgeous what a great happy mail thank you very much Ariane um, I'll post this on the Happy Mailers group later today, hopefully. Um, so I'll pop this off to one side. And just before we get into potluck prompts, I will show you something that I was making yesterday. Excuse the squeaky chair. Um, so my vet, um, I know her quite well because um, Noodles has had so many health issues going on throughout her whole little life. I have spent a lot of time with my vet and we've talked about um, noodles for a long time. Now my um, vet, her name's Georgia, she is pregnant with a little girl and she's just about to leave the clinic um, that she works at. And so I have made her a little card, uh, I've written in there, um, I won't show you what I've written. Um, but this is something that I made yesterday. I stamped both the cats. Um, it's just an outline of the cats. Um, and then I actually coloured in the cats um, as my two girls. So we've got Noodles and Jadzia. Um, Noodles is actually, her real name is Narice. Um, so it's actually Jadzia and Narice um, from Deep Space Nine. Then I've written You Are So Loved. And then I've done a little stamp of um, I think it's tattered pink um, hearts there um, and then I, um, I've got the card I actually used this card base it had I don't know whether you remember with the um, 
the tags from Potluck Prompts, the tags. Um, I actually was um, flicking the tags and I didn't realise I was actually getting this card base in the background. Um, so I actually have lots and lots of green dots all over this one. So I've actually just used the actual card base to create this. So those dots are not intentional. However, I've just left them and added the actual cats and the uh, sentiment um, to it. So don't ever throw away anything that you've accidentally wrecked. Um, so I did actually have it as a full um, card and so I just snipped it down because I knew that the cats were just going to be a square so you can see here that there's dots on the other part of the card that I have snipped down but yeah that's the problem unfortunately when you have things over there and you're actually doing work here um, yeah you do end up getting splotches of paint and blobs of ink everywhere so yes I thought I'd show you that I'm really quite happy with the way it turned out so I'll pop that over here and then potluck prompts baskets are on the floor so I'll grab those up you'll never guess what I dropped them the last weekend so there's me I'm sat there working out which prompts go into uh, which basket again so <laughs> that is um, the case. I have uh, ended up throwing them all over the floor. <laughs> so we have what to make colours, theme and add a challenge. Let's just check. Okay, so ready when you are. Oh, sorry. Oh, right. We're going to pick that, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Yeah, hey Jets. So let's put the baskets away. Oh, there's another leftover. I think they keep getting caught on the end of the um, bucket. So I'm going to just put that off to one side and then find out which bucket it was in. So. Okay, we have, can you see the tumnus legs? Um, so she's currently standing on her back two legs on my desk with her front paws on the actual craft cupboard. Um, yeah. So, um, have I got four? Yeah, I do have four. I was like panicking then going, oh no, maybe that one that I just put on the side is not the one <laughs> I just picked. Um, so yeah, she's, she had her two back feet here and her front feet on the actual craft cupboard because she's trying to see if there's any plastic for her to lick. So, let's open this up. We have a decorate an envelope. <laughs> This is back to my collage problems. We've got pastels. Jadzi, you are not rocking the camera. Then we have sewing. Awesome. And we have banner. Okay, this is an interesting one. I am going to have to go away and think about it before I do it. So, decorated envelope, pastels, sewing, and a banner. Now, doesn't say what kind of envelope. So, my brain is thinking, and I'm thinking I might do a happy mail out of an envelope. You know how there's people that have the envelopes that open up and they have pockets on the side? Then it means that I can make that with pastel colours and open it up. So it's still a decorated envelope. I don't have to just do um, an envelope for one of my Happy Mails to go in. Then I can do some sewing around the edge and then I can actually add a banner inside the Happy Mail. Because otherwise, if I was to just go with a normal decorated envelope for a Happy Mail, 
and use some you know pastel colors to decorate it then I'd end up having to sew around the edge of the envelope um, I could do that while it's open if I'm making one with my envelope punch board and then I would have to add a banner to the front which I probably would do with washi tape um, anyway these are the prompts guys watch this space and I will be back hey everyone it's Beck here I have popped back it is now 2.41 in the afternoon on Saturday um, and so things took a little bit of a turn um, when I pulled the prompts which we had um, where have they gone I don't know where I've put them hang on yep they're just here just on the side here so we had decorate envelope we had pastels sewing theme and we had banner um, so I was chatting with M on um, uh, our messenger together and um, I was chatting before I actually hopped in and did the last video um, and then I just sent her a picture of the um, prompts and I said you want to go live and she went yeah sure um, so we did an Im impromptu live um, so that's up on my channel if you want to go and watch it it's an hour and a half live and this is what I created and you'll be able to see what M created for hers as well um, so just turn this over so this is um, my decorated envelope but I've made it into a happy mail so you'll see inside um, I like the way that this looks I am looking forward to addressing this one and sending it out um, so I will turn it over and we will open it up I've popped a velcro dot here I plan to pop the envelope into a plastic bag to send um, and to address the front so let's open it up so I'll start by bringing it up to the top so since my live with M I have added some enamel dots so I have a little tiny banner here that says so glad to be your friend that's the paper there with the velcro dot then we have my pocket here which I have done embroidery on across the top I have actually trimmed along the top here to just um, make it look more of the edge of the pocket um, because it did get a bit wonky while I was um, talking and sewing at the time, same time so this was an embroidery thread that had a variegation to it so that's how it's changing colours along the way got the flowers on the bottom of that pocket over on this side this was what we first started with we both started with stamping so this one here is sewing machine and it says you are so special the stamp didn't do very well along the bottom it actually left this black line along the special so what I did was I added with a fine line pen some stitches out either side so hopefully that works I have since added the stickers which was part of the range these leaf stickers and then I've added these enamel dots then down at the bottom we have a sticker which I did on the live and I did the thinking of you with each stitch um, and then I've got these enamel dots here and then over on this side we have enamel dots as well I just did some little ones to marry up so that there was three on each of the flaps so goodies wise let's have a look now on the live I did say I was going to make another banner which I did this is my um, layered up banner so you can see that I've got layers throughout the side I've stitched around the middle banner piece then I've popped on this oval from the range and then it says each stitch on this card is a hug from me I've popped on some enamel dots here with some sparkles in them I'm hoping you can see that um, and I've slid one underneath here trying to do more of a Shara Crane if anyone has watched Shara Crane to actually do some um, enamel dots underneath layers and things like that so love how that one turned out um, that's going to be for the recipient there slide that one back in and it fits perfectly underneath 
um, the flap here so that I could put it in the pocket. Um, I've popped in some sticky washi dots here so I'm just going to slide those under that banner just to hold them down because they are a bit curly because on the roll they do curl. Underneath the washi dots I have popped in one of the Jang and Fox washi um, sticker sheets um, so that's the one that I've popped in underneath here. In my little bag that we got out at the time, it's a little organza bag, what I've done is I've actually stamped a lot of the sayings that you can see around here for the person that I'm sending this to, um, and I've popped them all in here and cut them down. Now, I don't know whether you can see up here, we've got a, it's like a floss spool that I've die cut, but it actually comes with a little miniature one as well, so I've just popped that in this bag as well with the, um, sentiments and so I'll bring that up on the spool here I have added it's a variegated cream and pink um, what do we call this I can't remember this is just a, a floss with the little um, oh M would know she would have it down pat of what we call this but anyway um, so it's just a lo lovely little twine there um, then I have popped in this card with loving um, so I'm planning on writing on that one and then sliding the letter in this side as well so that is potluck prompts number six so we've got the decorated envelope we've got lots of lovely pastels in this paper it's a sewing theme because we've got the sewing machine here and lots of sentiments and then I have done the embroidery across the top of the pocket we have a banner so we've got the little tiny sticker banner up here and then I've done the banner as a, a goodie for the person I'm sending this to so thank you so much for watching I hope you're all well and taking care like I said if you want to pop over and watch the live that M and I did that is on my channel's um, section under the lives um, and then if you do take part in this potluck prompts number six please tag me on Instagram and um, I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. Take care everyone, lots of crafty love, bye!